uh, Justin, uh, the game. Thank you. Uh, it seems like you and Coach Matumbo have this nice rapport together. You go for like, little conferences during the game, and it seems like very spirited and positive. How has that relationship sort of evolved, uh, and how, how is it now? It's great. I love Coach. You know, Coach is probably one of the only people that keep it real. Like, you know, like in, in like, like in, especially in this industry, you want to have someone who keeps it real with you. So, Coach has is, is been great towards me. You know, he's helped me become a real professional. You know, coming in, being a, a young kid, I'm only 20 years old, I don't really know the ins and outs. He's showed me the way, and it's just, it's just great to see how me and Coach, you know, have blossomed together. And we both have a passion for winning. We both want to win, so that's really it. Is there something new he taught you as a professional that you can point to specifically? Hello, what are you doing? This guy's my son. Is there a tip, one, that you can point to specifically? He opened your, uh, Coach Patempo opened your eyes to perhaps during the year. Wow, this is, this is what it takes to be a professional. Is there something specific? I would just say all the off the court stuff. Like just knowing that someone's always watching you. You know, like you get paid a lot of money, so they're not, you, know, you can't just do whatever you want. People are going to be watching you, you know, watch the way you speak, watch what you say. And just, just all the little things, you know, especially even on the court, like this defensive end, like, you know what I'm saying? Just how important certain things are. So it's been great. You had 28 points tonight, but you've been averaging 30 points in the last three games. Kind of what's been that motivation to kind of like perform at the level that you're performing at right now? I just think it's confidence. You know, my teammates give me confidence. My coaches, you know, they always tell me, like, if you have an open shot, take it. You're going to live and die by it. Uh, and I don't know, just, just being confident in myself. You know, I, I play with a chip on my shoulder every day, knowing that, you know, I want to be a great player. I want to make a lot of money for my family. So just confidence is the, is the main thing for me. Speaking of that, uh, that chip on your shoulder, can you talk about kind of your uh, your notes for the ball? Uh, I think you had 15, 16 rebounds tonight. Just started to become pretty customary. Has that always been your play style? Or? Oh, yeah, even in college, I averaged 11 rebounds. Um, but... I don't know, just like seeing the ball out there, just going to get it, freeze that. But that's that's really it, though. You know, just 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 being aggressive. Does it feel as good as uh, the bucket, pull it huh? on the board? Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Feel you know what I'm saying? It's just a stat. You know, how's my team win? So whatever, whatever it is, is good. Uh, Delano wants to know if you're his son. Um, <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. I knew it. Um, I have a, I have a couple of sons. Delano's my son. A couple of guys lock him to my sons, but. No, that's, that's my dog right there. The actual question, you, you mentioned a chip on your shoulder. Does Armani Brooks getting that contract and you being rendered playoff ineligible as a result, does that at all provide a chip on your shoulder and extra motivation? I mean, no, Armani, he's a great player, great person. You know, he, he got those two 10 days and he took advantage of it, you know. So I'm, I'm happy for him. I'm proud that he got that, you know, deserved it. But, you know, for me, I'm just going to continue to do what I do and just show that, you know, I'm an NBA player. That's really it. Who do you think would win in a fight? What? <laughs> 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 can't be asking these kind of trying to get the feds on me now. <laughs> he can't be doing that. No, but you always look like you're having fun out there. Like, you always play yeah. with such joy on your face. Is there ever, when you're playing, yet that you're like, I'm not having fun? No, I try to, I try to approach a game with, uh, with, a fun, with a fun mentality, a fun attitude, you know, because this, this is, you know, not everybody gets to do this. You know, this is, this is something I enjoy doing. You know, I get to make a career out of it, so I, I, I take son? advantage of it every day. With my sons, of course. <laughs> you know, so. What does it mean to finish first in the East and best in the G League? Oh, it's good, you know, but, you know, it's over now. It's done with. We did it. So what? We got four, we got two games, playoffs, and then we got the chip. So we got to lock in and, and get that. Once that happens, then job finished. We good. That's why you and Coach get along so well. Yeah. <laughs> Just win. Just win. That's all we got to do. Just win.